All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All of the Mod 7, guys. Holy cow, we have some fun stuff planned today. Let's get some auto crafting taken care of, you know what I mean? That is correct. We are doing auto crafting today, so let's go ahead and take a look at refined storage. Yep, we have some stuff here. There's also some extras that we can do. Uh, outside of this through a different mod. But anyway, this is the crafter that we're gonna need. We can also upgrade it, I believe. Yes, up to an iron crafter. So that's the extra, it's through extra storage. I'll work on that in a moment once we're a little bit further ahead, but we do need to craft up some things. Uh, so first of all, we're gonna make a lot of quartz enriched iron because we can do it. And so I'm gonna use the macro I showed you guys last episode. And if you look up at the quartz, you can see that it's kind of disappearing and that the quartz enriched iron is shooting through the roof. But we'll put all that in there. I think that will suffice for today. Uh, and then we'll be able to auto craft that in the future moving forward. But anyway, let's go ahead and make the crafter here. Uh, we're gonna make probably a stack of these guys, yeah. And then how many of these can we make? 15, we are at a glowstone. Ooh, that's not something. Yeah, we didn't really look into that or deal with that. Um, yeah, we can make a lot of these guys. Hang on a second here. Let's get some of these made. We also need to look into getting slimes processed through. That might be something we do today. See if we can uh, knock that out because slime shouldn't be too difficult at all. Um, what about latex? Okay, so we could get a centrifuge going, so we don't need... Uh, let's see here. Slime, pink slime, sky slime, anchor ball. What's an anchor ball? You can get it from glowing blood shrooms. Grow time 10 seconds. Okay, that's not a bad idea. Uh, bonsai pot. We might actually look into these for that. Because you can put these on a drawer and call them good. And that would be a good way. Oh, I do have sky slime. Or... Um, yeah, skyroot sapling. What about dirt? Okay, so I think we need to go up and get one of those. Let's go ahead and knock that out now because we do need to get the slime process started. Uh, where's the closest one? Here, or we have one kind of over here. Oh my gosh, I forgot how fast this is. Okay, so I don't think we can just mine it like this, can we? Yeah, I actually think we can. So I'm gonna mine a bunch of it. Um, but take a look, this is our uh, the member Car Karstein's base. They're pretty close to me, but yeah, they've been doing a lot. Looks like some Batania stuff possibly, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd love to set up a bunch of like base tours. Uh, I'll get with the members and see if they wanna do that because a lot of the people playing on the server are very, very well versed in modded, so they're really cool. All right, but we have the dirt that we need. And here's my little just base. <laughs> okay, so got everything we need. Let's go ahead and make a bonsai pot because I think that's gonna be a great idea. Uh, oh, not latex. Um, yes, bonsai pot. This guy here, oh, just takes bricks. Nice. Let's make a couple of these uses. Um, yes, it grows, but we should be able to craft with it. I thought, upgrading bonsai. Okay, the exports start way below. Okay, so we are gonna need some hoppers. Let's go ahead and get these going. Beautiful. And then, doo -doo -doo. we need a good drawer. We need a two by two drawer. We're missing the wood. This is why we're making it. Okay, here we go. And we'll put these guys over here for now. Actually, we don't need this guy. Okay, boom, boom, boom. We should be able to do this, maybe. Not too sure. Okay, that's growing. And we can put an ax in here. Because we have so much of all the modium now, I think we're gonna go ahead 
and turn these into indestructible. Okay, indestructible weapons. So we move them here. And I believe this will allow us to create the axes. Yes, and these are indestructible. Cool. And so we can also enchant them. So let's do that. And they get really good enchants. Silk Touch. I don't know if that's a good one. Yeah, those aren't very good. Um, this one's actually really good, but we don't want it. That's got capturing efficiency four, so we'll take it. And then capturing one again. Um, okay, we'll leave the efficiency. Silk touch. It's got efficiency three. I guess we'll leave it. Nope, need to get rid of it. Efficiency four. Okay, we're gonna try to get efficiency four on this guy too. Because we don't have to worry about unbreaking, it's pretty cool. We just need to worry about efficiency. Nope, this is taking it a minute. Okay. Nope. Okay, efficiency four, there we go. I'll put the rest of this in there. And there we go, okay. So we got those, each of them have efficiency four. They have other enchants too that I don't know if it makes it better or worse. Um, and then we wanna do this maybe. Yeah, there we go, that puts it right in. And so now we'll have a chance of getting some sky slime through this guy, I believe. Maybe if we combine it with fortune, it will allow us to do better. Hmm. Okay, let's look at upgrading a bonsai pot. Okay, automatically cuts trees, export items down below, increase drop rolls, fortune, okay. Uh, efficiency, grow time, okay. Silk touch, be careful and get leaf drops. Bee nest, pollinate fruit drops. Okay, so yeah, we want fortune. Um, hmm. I'm gonna take a bit and go ahead and enchant these to get fortune on them. Uh, so I will be back in a bit because we definitely want fortune. Oh wait, hang on here. So it says it requires a beehive upgrade to get that, so. We are gonna need the beehive upgrade. Um, so do we have any honeycombs yet? I don't think I actually do. Nope. I do not. So what that means is I need to go find some bees. I'll be back. Okay, so we did get some honeycombs from our pal uh, Benny Cotta, they ended up leaving the game. Uh, but yeah, so we got some uh, honeycombs now, so we can make some of the honeycomb things. Um, yeah, beehive. Oh, beehive. Here we go. One, two, three. That's all we're going to make for now. And yes, this way we can do this. And have a chance of getting slime. Slime. Let's see, when do we get one? Yeah, look at that, we got slime. So cool, okay. So we have that being kind of automated, which is good. Uh, it's not like super duper fast, but we can go ahead and upgrade that later on. And we also need some more glowstone. So I think I'm gonna take a quick trip to the nether and grab some. So, oh, and by the way, I did put the jetpack on our body slot here. You can do that. So we have a chest piece and we have the jetpack on, which is a really, really cool thing. So onward and upward. Okay, bunch of glowstone acquired. Let's make some of these. Yes, okay, so we're out of the processors, which is okay. Uh, we, like I said, we have those kind of being automated now. So that is good. Uh, let's look up crafters. Here we go. Iron crafter. We just need a crafter crafter. Okay. A crafty crafter. 
Oh, geez. We need more of those processes. Let's... Wow, we got a bunch already. Almost a stack. This is working out really well. Okay. So, yes. There we go. Now we can make more of the processes. There we go. You get melted. Perfect. Okay. So, the craft air. We can put these in there, and we get 13 of these guys. But we can get some more. I don't think we're even going to come close to utilizing all 26 of these now. Um, yeah, and then we also need some cable. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. There you are. Perfect. Okay, so we've got those. Let's look up the other tier crafter, and we will come compare. Uh, so here we go. We have normal crafter. I Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Iron crafter. Oh, wow. That holds a lot of recipes. Yeah, we definitely need more of those. Uh, how many processors do we have? We got a bit of the gold one, so I can make a couple of these guys. Um, we'll make another seven. Perfect. That way we have eight. And then how do the diamond ones like? Oh, we need neural processors. Oh, that's a little pricey. We will have to auto bait those. Okay. So what we can do here is we don't need this. Who needs it? We will put a normal crafter here for now, but now we have that in the system. Using 85 FE per tick. What is using so much? Oh, the importer and exporters are using a lot. Yeah. Okay. So the crafters here, we give it a recipe. Oh, we need to make a pattern grid, don't we? Yeah, this will allow us to create said pattern. Um, so we need one of these guys. We need a pattern. There we go. And now we can make a pattern grid. That should give us one more vest yes Ooh, we got a pattern Ooh, we got more patterns we got randomness we got randomness cool okay so what do we get we got a couple of good things that's nice all right so now that we have that we have the pattern grid here we need to find a spot to put it i think we're gonna go ahead and remove this guy because I don't think we need two of those so now it's a little off center we need to we need to revamp this here pretty soon actually but now um, like we can set up crafting recipes or processing recipes um, which will allow us to either like craft an item or we can uh, put a crafter say like on a furnace and tell it hey push items out this way and it'll push items into it and then pull them back out into the system so it'll be awesome we can definitely set that up today as well um, but yeah, auto crafting. That's what we are in. Um, I had one of those. Wow. I, oh, I must've got it from a reward. Let's try the gold one. See how nice that is. Look at all those recipes. Holy crap. And it even goes up higher. Okay. Cool. So we have that. Do we have a wireless crafting grid that we can make? Oh, we do. We might need to make that today. Mm, that lets us get our items from anywhere close enough at our base. Anyway, let's go ahead and set up the crafting. We're going to start with all of the items um, like the 1K storage parts. Um, so we'll set up this recipe here. Uh, so whenever we need some more quartz enriched iron we can do that uh next we'll set up the one k's um yeah we can set it up so that silicone and glass are both automated we'll need to set that up with a smelter uh, and so as long as it has those it should be good to go uh string sky slime ball that's good recipe for string flax okay so we're out of patterns let's Let's do this. We got 64. So let's make a pattern to create a pattern. Good. And then yeah, we can put these here. And then let's do a 1K. 
We'll do a 4K. We'll do a 16K. On 64K. And after the 64, 256K. And then after the 256K, we do the 1024K. And then after the 1024K, we do the 4096K. And then like we can set it up so it continues to craft these when we have enough materials. Let's just do it all the way up to infinite. This is getting ludicrous. Oh my gosh. I can't believe we are making all of these patterns. This is crazy. I, I probably shouldn't be, uh, but yeah, that's infinite after that. And so we only need one of those. So let's throw all of these in here and let's see, what do we need for the infinite? Okay, so we need 75,000 more iron. We need 85,000 more redstone. We need four on obtainium. We need to be able to craft 39,000 of the advanced processors. We need to be able to craft uh, 78,000 of the improved. Uh, we need to craft 235,000 of, of the uh, basic processors. We need a lot more quartz, a lot more silicone. So the things with, like this isn't really too far out of our wheelhouse. Um, well, there's a bunch of other items that we need to craft that it's thinking that we have. So let's go through those. This is a little ridiculous. Um, so yeah, advanced processor there, no problem. Actually, it, it's going through everything that we need. So we need to set up a way to automate the processor. So when, and that is by um, you know setting up the crafts for them. These guys, the raw processor bindings. Um, here we go. And so we can hit uses on this. So we can do that as well. Oops. And uses on this. And that as well. And then, you know, eventually we'll need it. So we're going to do that. We're going to do all of the processors. Perfect. Okay. And so these are just being crafted. So they can go in there no problem. See, so now we have the ability to craft, say, a stack. If we had some more string, we could definitely do that. So we need to find a way to start harvesting the um, the flax seeds. Sorry, you're throwing me off, Butchie. Throw it, harvest the flax seeds so that they can, uh, we can set up, what's it called, um, the, the string production. So that will be done soon. I might do that on live stream um, if, if we do that. Okay. So we have all of those set up for auto crafting. Let's worry about these two guys. And then there we go. And we can also get some speed upgrades in there that will let it craft things faster. So we do that. All right, so now that has max crafting speed, so it'll craft things up real quick for us. Um, let's see, what can we craft? Well, we could do some, um, is it quartz enriched iron? If we middle click it, nope, it doesn't let us do it. Let's do 512. And let's see, do we need a crafting monitor? Yeah, let's go ahead and make a crafting monitor. Um, doo -doo -doo, he's right here. Um, we need some patterns. There you go, look at that. Patterns crafted up, crafting monitor. <laughs> Awesome sauce. There's nowhere to put this guy. Yeah, we need to revamp this. Uh, I'm going to move this down here. We're probably just going to have... Hmm, is there... How do we make the hollow covers? Or how do we make the covers? I'm not too sure how you make those. Do we use the wrench? Is that what we use? Let's try it out real quick. Because I did make one, but I don't know. Um... Yeah, I don't 
don't think that's how you do it. There's a certain way to do it, and I'm not sure. Unless they've disabled it in this version, because we still haven't updated yet. I'm going to do that after I have a bunch of videos pre-recorded, because I will be out of town for a week. Um, but yeah, so we have auto crafting set up. Let's, that rain is loud. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy automated. Um, yeah, let's get that guy automated right now. So that's pretty simple. We're going to set up a spot down here for him. Um, hmm. We're going to do it in this wall here. And I want three of these guys going. Um... So we do need to craft some more of them. And then we'll have them go into a chest. So let's clear this out, make it look good. Even though we won't see it, it will still look good. We're going to do this with a darker block so that there's some good contrast. Um, we're going to need some more of these pipes. Got the crafters. We got the cable. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. We're going to do deep slate. Sorry. Deep slate tiles like this. Okay. And then we need the pipe wrench. We're going to do this. One, two, three. And then I'm going to grab these guys. Because they're going to go down there as well, just in case we need them. Um, and then I want to upgrade these up to the max tier. Actually, we're not going to be able to do that. Uh, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just, we'll, we'll upgrade them later on. I need to get some more magma creams. Oh, excuse me. I don't know who I said excuse me to. Okay. All right, so this is where the items will be coming out, and we can go boop, boop, boop. We can click here, go boop, boop, boop. So those will be pulling the items out. We're gonna put a chest here. Let's break this, put that there, looking good. All right, and then the crafters. We, ooh. Not what I was anticipating. There we go. There we go. There we go. Okay. So those worked great for doing that. And then we can run some cable down from this guy. Yeah. So like we take it from here. We just run it down. Oh, shoot. It's literally right there. Cool, cool. Um, yeah, we can do that. No problem. And if we just need to break this guy, and it should connect up here. Butcher. Here, you go teleport home real quick, buddy. All right, now if we look at those guys, they should be connected. Yes. So cool. Okay, so we're also going to get rid of this guy. I'm aware it's going to fly everywhere. Yeah, all the recipes. That's fine. And so, Butchie. Okay, he grabbed those. That's fine. We're going to put some crafters right here. And the gold one. Did you grab my gold one? You did. That's okay. Here, take that. Put the gold one here. I want this pointed outwards like so. And so then we can go like this. Cool. So now that one's craft or able to be crafted. 
Bang, bang. So these guys are just crafting. We can put some here as well to even it out. Is that evened? No, the room is an odd size. Oh, no. What have we done? The cringe is real. Here we go. Now those guys are connected up. And we can go like this. Perfect. And then, do I have any recipes on me? I do. Okay. And then I'll grab these from ButchyBot. Okay, so these are all set up. All we gotta do now is get the processing recipes good to go. Um, oh, we also need to add in those wireless guys. Ooh, eat. Okay, so wireless heat. Wireless heat and wireless heat. So these guys are all set up, ready to go. We don't need to worry about giving them power to heat up things. I'm just gonna leave those for now because they're gonna go right into the system. Let's get an ender chest going. Need one of you, bam. Ender chest. We need three die and one diamond, perfect. Okay, so we place you here. Bam, and then boop, boop, boop. Yep, and now it's connected up so that our system is pulling those items in whenever it ne or ever it goes into that inventory. Bam. So when we put the recipes here, it will process, you know, put them into the top, and then these will suck it out and throw it right into our ender chest, which goes right into our ME system. So that means we can automate the smelting of items now, which is super awesome and very very much needed. We're also going to, where the create stuff is, we're going to be putting a storage wall where we're gonna put like the stuff like our our copper. There's 1.7 million pieces of copper in there. That's that's crazy. I also need to put a, yeah, I do have a void upgrade on it, cool. It's like, I need to put one of those on it. But that is okay. All right, so let's go ahead and set up those recipes, the processing ones. Um, so we need to go into refined storage um, and these ones here. So as you can see, it says, hey, when we give it a basic raw processing, a raw basic processor, it gives us back a basic processor. So it's telling it when we give you this, you give it back to us like that. Um, so yeah, that's all we need to do for these three guys. And bam, so those are created. We're also do, 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 do uses here. All right, we're gonna do that for this guy as well in case we ever need it. And then for this one as well. So all five of them will get taken care of. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the basic processor here because this, this is the fastest one that we have and then I can like put the other ones here that we won't need so many of, but we need so many of the basic one. I'm putting it for the netherite furnace because this is the fastest one we have. And I believe we can actually upgrade that to an uh, all the modium uh, furnace right now. Let's see if we can do that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. We can, one, two, three, four. Holy cow. Let's go put this on there. This is sweet. All right, and boom, look at that, all the modium furnace. That is so fast. We need to put upgrades in here for it. Um, yeah, let's let's go ahead and make those now so that our, our processor processors can be max speed. Um, let's see. Uh, so we're just gonna do three speed upgrades and one stack upgrade. Um, so that means we need one, two, three. We need seven. So we need one stack upgrade. And we'll do this. Okay. 
So the reason we did that is because the speed upgrades, we'll have three speed upgrades, and then we'll have a full stack upgrade. So it has the ability to put stacks in. I guess it doesn't let you do that. Never mind. We'll just have four speed upgrades. So let's go ahead and try to set up the processing. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll try crafting up some of those uh, processors. Um, so let's see here. So like this, how many can we make? Ah, we're missing string. Darn it. Let's go grab some. And I'm going to use uh, my fortune pickaxe because I'm pretty sure you get more when you use fortune on plants. So we're going to do that. Cool, cool. Okay, so did we set up one for the string yet? So we can just turn hemp into it. If we didn't, we just did. So when we do get the hemp seeds automated, it'll just throw them in there. But let's, um, we'll put that in this guy because it's move. It's gonna be moving quick. Okay, so we'll try the processors again, like this. We'll do a stack. Oh my god! Look at that. We just we have a full stack of them already. Oh my gosh, dudes, that is so fast. Holy crap, we have auto crafting. Now, off camera, I'm gonna put in a lot of recipes uh, and I probably will also set it up so that we're automatically exporting to our system here. Um, so I could probably just put like a, like a exporter on top of this so that we're just exporting the different raw materials that can go through here so they're getting processed. But yeah, we have a lot of automation going on now. We can make anything we really want. We're Gosh, we're nearing all the modium armor. We might do that next episode. But ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit that like button. And as always, don't forget to subscribe. But this has been Super Turtle, and I'll see you all next episode. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye. <laughs>